Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. And make sure you're checking out the website. It's Montez.com. Subscribe. If you don't, you can't keep up. Duh. If you want to connect with me, you can also check me out on Facebook. Montez McCamish. Just spell it out. Looking for some interesting reads? Make sure you check out the blog. Check out It's Montez.com. Click on the blog and you'll have lots of reading right there. Without further ado, let's get on to the show. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's Montez McCavish from itsmontez.com. Make sure you are like, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. If you don't do that, you can't keep up. Duh. Also, new thing, there's a little bell. I want you to go ahead and click that, and uh, that way you can get all the notifications whenever I do an upload, because it's going to be kind of crazy. I'm going to be doing a whole lot of uploads um, here, here very soon. So anyway, anyway, go ahead, click that bell, um, get the notifications turned on so you can get all the new uploads. Um, and be sure to comment. Um, I need your comments. I need to know what you think about what's going on. Um, but really, I wanted to come to you today and actually talk to you all about some of the things that you don't always get to see um, within what I'm doing and how I'm producing it and things like that. I wanted to let you all know that, yes, sometimes it can be very, very frustrating. You know, to get all the things done that I'd like to get done or to even to reach to all the people that I'd like to reach to. Because, again, there's only 24 hours in a day. We're all aware of that. There's only 24 hours. And there's so many things that you want to do within um, them 24 hours of the day. Um, for me, I, it's always a constant rotation within creating and coming up with ideas to host for you all. And then also to within, like, my music or within... Um, my mind, I'm always creating. It's always something that's always just, it's always just moving. Um, the gears and stuff like that. So, also, I, I'm always having to connect with people. Um, connecting with people is very vital if you're trying to, like, grow um, your brand within who you are. Because, it's like, again, it's about getting noticed, you know. And, and, and if it's not about getting noticed, it's about talking to people that are going to put you in the position to get noticed, you know. Um, like again, you can find that out on the interview with Bob Bird. You just go check that out. Um, it's actually right there. Bob Bird, go check that out. And um, but when you really you sit down and you think about all the different things that you have to go through to get those things done, um, I don't know if like some people are like, hey, stuck at step one. How do I get there? Or if they're already going through the steps and they're looking to find out how to keep on pushing and making things go, or whatever step you're at. But I, I definitely wanted to come in and talk to you all about that. For me, it's been like a consistent of like building the emails. It's been a consistent all the time doing it. And sometimes it's really, it can get really draining, like uh, all the time spending your brain power on like, okay, this is what I'm working on. Right now, I'm going to cut off all other things and only work on this. So, like, so like for, like, an hour, for instance, maybe you're looking for other people to get on your show um, to interview. And you're spending that whole entire hour doing nothing but that. Uh, it's, sometimes it can weigh on you. I mean, it's only just an hour, but then when you're looking about, like, okay, I've got this next to do, like, uh, responding to emails or um, on your social media accounts, whether it's on your Facebook, your Twitter, your regular email, your periscope whatever the case is or whatever if you have your instagram if you got something on there and you go through it and you go and you respond back to all these people so like if they left a comment you go back and you write back through their comments but you're going to spend about like an hour and 30 minutes to do that so like right there it's two hours and 30 minutes you still have not left your computer screen or a lot of people are using their mobile phones that's another thing though if you're really thinking about it i know that a lot of people uh, rather use their mobile phones because it's quicker you know but really if you think about it um, the PC was created for a reason you know there's a lot more things that you can do from your PC laptop or even your uh, 
want to say tablet, you can do a lot from the tablet, but there's still a lot you can't do from the tablet, and it's not as efficient. So, like, yeah, it's quicker to do everything from your mobile phone, but really, um, editing videos and doing things like that, I, I, it's just so much easier when you have a laptop or a PC. So, like, when you're really looking at all that time you or you spent, like, uh, now you're going to your edit your videos, you know, so now you're, that's good. you're going to spend an hour on video editing and creating. So that's now three hours and 30 minutes of your time, you know. So, like, it's just, like, um, it's piling over and over and over and over again. And you're like, okay, so you're trying to beat the time. Um, the best thing that I could advise you to do is to set up a calendar like I told you. Do it, do it, do it like this, like per hour per day. Either you're doing two hours working on this or two hours working on this for three hours and then doing the next project within the next hours that you have left on. Working yourself through these kinds of ways gets you a lot further. It, it has me anyway. Uh, each is its own and everyone learns in a different way. So I'm not acting like I've got the knock on everything. Um, but but it really does work out a, a little bit better that way. Um, now for me... I, I don't think that selecting certain days to get certain things done is very beneficial for me because like just in how I work is it's just not it just doesn't do as well for me. I like to keep it doing all right, I'm gonna do this, this, and this. It's not one day I'm going to it's not a workout for me. You know, it's not like one day I'm gonna do chest and back and and, and, and then the, the next day I do legs and, and biceps, you know, or whatever I do. You know, I, it's not how it goes, but I don't, I don't break it up like that. I try to just do all of it as it is because then, like, some things will sit back. And before you know it, you look and you've got all these other things that are sitting on top of you. And it's because you've broken it down into, well, I'm going to do this on Mondays, this on Tuesdays, this on Wednesdays. No, it's just better just to say I'd spend this amount of time on this today within the whole record of your whole, whether, like, again, editing, uh, contacting, um, creating, whatever it is that you're doing, all these different things, you're able to, to do these things within that amount of hours of time, whether or not you spend an hour doing the list of things that you've got to do, each thing you do it for an hour, or you go and you, and you do, like I just said, you do uh, every Tuesday, you do this, and then every Monday, you do that, it just won't, I mean, but then again, I think it really comes down to this, self-evaluation. Evaluating what's going on with you and how it works best with you. Like, like you really need to know yourself. Know what works best for yourself. Because what works best for me is probably not going to work best for you. You know, to each is his own. It goes back to one of those kinds of things. Like, you kind of really have to evaluate yourself. Um, and then, like, I, again, like, everyone knows that this is, this is uh, key but um, and this is part of how you get things done. But uh, I think I think a lot of people don't do it. You have to work your face off. You have to work hard. You have to you have to every day you have to work. It, it and it's hard work. And it's not just five minutes. I'm gonna. It's not just an hour. It's not just three hours. It's all day. Like literally, I, it's all day. All day you should be trying to connect with somebody. All day you should be thinking about what you can create next. All day you should be doing you know, the next step, if you really want something bad enough. Now, don't get me wrong, you sure, you need work-life balance, spend time with your family for this amount of time, but then again, like I said, you set a schedule, treat it like it's a real-life thing, treat it like it's really uh, something that you're trying to work at, and I think that you'll be able to get to that, whatever it is that you're trying to do, whatever, trying to reach a goal, or you're trying to get up your subscribers, or you're trying to, or you're trying to at least get that that hundred dollar check in the mail or whatever the case it is you're trying to write your book you're trying to get more following on your blog or whatever the case it is if you if you if you spend your time working hard at it it's gonna come and there's no doubt about it there is no doubt about it if you just work your face off it'll come um but with all that being said there's just some things that you know a lot of people don't really talk about what you really have to go through the struggle and stuff like that for me I mean, personally, it's hard for me to always, like, keep up with, with all the emails that are coming in to me. Because, like, a lot of people are saying, hey, look, can I get an interview on your show? Yeah, I would love to interview everyone that comes on the show. I would love to. You know, but then sometimes, you know, it, it affects me. My brand, uh, my show, uh, what's going on. I can't just have 
anyone on the show and just, just be talking all kinds of whatever, you know, I just can't do that. So I have to properly go through and see, hey, what's this person about? And literally taking time and really researching someone before you bring them on your show, it, it takes time. It could take it could take thirty minutes to actually find out. Hey, is this person someone that's 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 not going to destroy my brand later on down the road? You know, and when you have to spend that amount of time plus doing all the other things that I was telling you, you know, it really takes a chunk out of your day. Um, so so like if if you all are sending me emails or if you all are writing comments and I'm not getting back to them, I'm I'm sorry. It's just that you know I, I'm I'm really trying to step things up to this next notch. I know you've seen the videos, uh, this video right here uh, from Now You See TV. I'm going to start doing projects with them. Um, I, I know that you've seen powerful conversations. Actually, believe it or not, it's about to come to a halt uh, because like there's just so much on my plate. Um, I do plan on trying to uh, get some more things going on and, and booking something in for uh, powerful conversations, but I, I, I wasn't sure. Like All these interviews that are coming in, and then all the things with Now You See TV that's about to happen, I, I really uh, didn't expect it to come to an abrupt hop like it did. Uh, but, yeah, that's just a little bit of some of the things that I'm dealing with. It's a little bit behind the scenes of what's going on on itsmontez.com. Um, again, like, if you all want to keep up with me, I would suggest that you subscribe to my website, itsmontez.com. It's itsmontez.com. Duh. If you don't do that, you can't keep up. Yeah, I'm really thinking about like putting that on my T-shirt pretty soon. Duh, at the end of it. But if if you're not subscribed to the uh, website, you're not going to be able to keep up. I, I've got newsletters that I'm going to be sending out, um, especially for when I have live shows. Got newsletters for um, maybe I, I've got some prizes that you can win. Um, I've got I've got some blogs that I'd like to share with you all. I've got little tidbits and tad bits of things that you probably won't see on my YouTube that you can only see through the newsletter. So like it's it's pretty pretty beneficial if you go ahead and sign up to the uh, to the to the newsletter uh, that I'm going to be sending out to people. And I think that I think that if you sign up to that, you'll you'll see you'll see the benefit of doing it. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I wanted to definitely stop in and just tell you all a little bit of what was going on, um, why things are changing so quickly, uh, why I'm uploading so many videos, uh, and just what's going on inside my brain and how I deal with it, and hopefully it can help you deal with the situations on your own terms. But nevertheless, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have anything to say, leave it in the comment box. I'll do my best to address it. Again, turn on that notification, that bell will let you know what's going on and when I have new uploads. Uh, if you don't have the bell turned on, you probably won't know. So uh, anyway, um, thanks so much for tuning in. It's Montez McCamish from itsmontez.com. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you can't do that, you won't keep up. Duh.